Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic uh, <laughs> week. Boy, it was an interesting weekend, I would say that, um, to a degree. I've seen uh, enough people unmask themselves in this uh, last couple days, and just how horrible of human beings they can be. And, you know, I don't tend to like to jump into politics too much, even when I'm talking about uh, the hobby stuff and what I think you should not tolerate and what you was not really consequential in this regard i think it's always important to uh listen to these folks as they uh blare out their hatred and their inhumanity so that you know where they stand the unmasking in a way it has a innate value in that you know what people are really like and not what they're presenting themselves as it's not a, a, a way of demonizing anyone it's just going oh you're that kind of crazy maybe i shouldn't have anything to do with you or maybe i shouldn't take you at face value and of course this all goes down while i was in the midst of uh, preparing a video to talk about the various basing as the kitten decides that he needs to have his fit right now he's also upset about this weekend i guess and i was going to talk about uh, some kind of cheaper end things that you can do to help gussy up a base or to add to it in a way and um i'm going to do a little bit of that and i'm going to talk a little bit about what's been going on now, I'm no enlightened centrist, like uh, some people present themselves as. I'm just a human being. I have my uh, foibles. I have my virtues. i am got my things that I like and I don't like. In general, I don't care what another person enjoys or doesn't enjoy, as long as they're not trying to force it on someone else or me. Where I have my real problem is when people try to force something on myself or others that's when i have an issue with it and one reason i have always traditionally said i reject people coming into a hobby and trying to enforce their will on it because it's just a form of force now it's light force but it's still force and in this regard when people go hey i don't like someone and i wish uh, their minecraft session to be ended early you might say or, you know, everyone's bad, but that group is really, really bad, I usually get a little bit suspicious of that person. And it comes down to a really basic thing. Look, I don't care what you think of Mr. Drump or, uh, you know, old Slow Joe. There's really no reason to wish something untoward towards those individuals. There's really no, no reason for it. It's ridiculous. You can go, hey, I don't want like them. I don't want them in an office or whatever. And I don't support them. That's 100% fine. But what we are seeing right now is a unchecked side of the political setting in the United States, which was a completely bizarre thing when I, I moved into the States when I originally had to grapple with this concept. That's basically gotten themselves into such a level of sheer just hatred and rage that they feel very comfortable telling you about how much they want to end someone's Minecraft session or how upset they are that someone was missed by you know such violence being reaped upon them or using people who actually did get hurt and or uh, slain in the event and going well you know let's talk about them like alex jones like they were props and you just sit there going these people really hate someone to such a point that they don't even display basic humanity oh what a wonderful thing and I think people shouldn't try to go out and destroy these individuals, but they should go, hey, I'm a free person, I can make my own mind up, and I don't want to associate or support or deal with people who actually 
have a literal desire to watch someone be, uh, yeah, well, get similar uh, things happen to them like JFK. Now, and I'm not saying that you need to agree with someone. I don't agree with Joe Biden, old Joe, slow Joe, but I don't see a huge amount of people complaining that when he falls down the stairs, they want, you know, his Minecraft session to end. I see a lot more people going, hey, you know, maybe Joe should be back at the ranch with the kids, you know? I see more of that from, well, more normal people, but the one end of things, let's just say it's like the deep end of the pool, seems to have a real problem with just going, hey, I don't like this person, but I still recognize them as a human. And I just don't want them to be involved in politics anymore. They go to the most hyperventilating, hateful level they can. For example, Mark Hamill. You know, Jack Black's having to cancel his tour because of opening their dumb mouths about something they didn't even need to step into. Just continue entertaining people and shut the hell up for a change. A lot of these people are ruining their own mystique and their own lure for cheap political points for a group of people who seem to be quite unhinged and s just scream for the sake of screaming and then let's not forget people who pretend to be centrist and then do everything they can to basically root for one side while demonizing the other while getting high off their own smug gases and I don't even hate any of these people or really dislike any of them. I just go, this behavior is really quite wretched. It's wretched. It shouldn't be acceptable. And it actually really ruins the ability for a lot of people to continue to engage with what you produce. And this can happen on any side and every side, but... This, I think, is a really revealing event. There are people who are angry that a man wasn't on television getting the JFK treatment and are making all kinds of really just awful comments. Now, I like some dark humor. I can laugh at some of it. I would have even said someone saying the, uh, the stormtrooper would have been kind of funny if they had waited a few days and there wasn't people who actually got killed in it. Look, we can have a society without having to hyperventilate about every little thing. And we can have a society that respects when people have lost their lives. When someone who's most likely unhinged did something awful, we can all recognize that. And then later we can make some jokes. We can try to lighten the mood when the appropriate time comes. But the problem here is we have a group of people who seem to legitimately have nothing but pure and utter hatred for people who politically disagree with them. And, oh boy, that's kind of sad in the end of it. And, you know, that's the thing I think is most valuable. Listen to what people actually tell you. Oftentimes, they will reveal who they really are. I hope that most of these people come to their senses. They go, you know what? This is stupid. I am sorry. Let's move on and stop doing this kind of childish, fitting kind of behavior. And just be decent human beings. The problem is, is a lot of these people are caught in their own chambers and it's going to take a while before some of them, if they ever do, realize how stupid and ridiculous they are being and just how they are poisoning the well against themselves. And I'm not even going to exclude individuals like Destiny. Destiny, dude. I don't like you that much, not really on your political side. You've made some good comments in the past. You should have attempted to look like the level-headed one, but you didn't. And that goes the same with every one of these other people. You should not be rooting on 
for the cancellation of another person's life on any side. And I'm not going to try to make any false claims for unity or any of that. But I will do this at the end. So I'm sorry to this week's hobby thing got a little bit um, sidetracked. But I'm going to give you a bit of a preview for what I'm going to be adding. I, on this model, right here, the Def Guard, that is using air dry clay. I'm going to be showing a couple methods with using it. Uh, for adding to bases, especially if you're doing the quick basing like we talked about from all game as I immediately knock over the miniature. Good job me. Um, to help enhance that a little bit. I'll also be talking about ways of enhancing the baking soda basing so that you get a little bit more variety on it. Like you can see with, uh, let's pull this guy over here. Like you can see with this guy. Not the greatest job, and I haven't dusted him off, but an example of it. And then some other methods for painting it, like... Alright, camera, you can do it! I believe in you! Heart of the cards, camera! Like what we have done with him. Now, he's not finished. He's going to get some more done. But I'm going to be talking about how to get some of these really basic effects and things done to enhance your basing. Also, how to uh, get some stuff like this to fully set on a base so you don't have to worry about flaking off, like right there. I hadn't done it because I was planning on doing it in video. So, I do apologize for the lack of a hobby video, and I'm going to say, I'm not going to dive too often into politics, and I'm not going to espouse any particular belief because that's not my job. You can believe anything you want. I'm only going to involve myself in these things when it comes down to the fact that I see a lot of people doing stupid things that inevitably will only hurt themselves. And I think that they should reconsider, take a step back, and go, Wow, what if this was a family member of mine this happened to? And remove the politics. Take the beam out of their own damn eyes before they really delve into commentary after something that could have ended a lot worse for a lot more people. I think this would have only, if uh, if the Trump had gotten the JFK treatment, had made things worse in the country. So, I'm sorry. We're going to be jumping into some basics of basing, and that include how to use baking soda, bits of cut off plastic cork, speed paints, and how to get different effects on a couple of these things, as well as selling the, the quick basing. Let's just call it that for shorthand, the quick basing like All Games Terrain has, or Geek Gaming Scenics, as well as changing things up with air dry clay that you can get two pounds for four or five bucks at like uh, your local stores, like even a Dollar Tree in the US. So thanks for joining me and have a fantastic day.